So this is a short video to demonstrate the CBR 1100XX Super Blackbird to show you it's been ridden and the brakes and gears and clutch what the kind of thing can be sort of proved to be working. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is to climb on and start the engine. It always seems to start okay, it seems that the battery's okay on it. So when you turn it on there you get the usual lights that come on there and then bursts into life fairly easily. So first thing I'm going to do is up to the junction and apply a little bit of rear brake. So I'm applying a little bit of rear brake now and a little bit more. I can feel from that that the rear brake feels as powerful as it should do and the rear just feels nice and flat. Now the same for the front. A little bit of front brake, now a little bit more and the same goes for that. Both front discs feel nice and flat and the brakes feel as powerful as they should do. I'm now going to work right through the gears. So in first gear now, this is listening to the transmission. The second, third, fourth, fifth, and into sixth. I can hear from that that the gears all sound nice and quiet. There's no chain noise or anything else there in the dryer to be concerned about. The clutch feels nice and light. I'm now going to pull the throttle back and feel if there's any electrical breakdown in the high tension circuits. I can feel that the bike accelerates on all four cylinders nice and cleanly. I'm now I'm going to take my hands off the handlebars, make sure it goes nice and straight, which you can see there, which it does. And one last thing is the horn. That's it. The bike just feels as it should do, can't fault that. That's the test done.